Good morning. I'm Ilka Osta. Good morning. I'm Joe Drennan. We decided to go live because we're doing a topic this morning that we just think the mowing man in the back is a perfect example of what parenting is like. Just when you think the kids have gone off to sleep, just when you think everything's okay, you can finally relax. Something happens yes, to change it. Yes, yes. We were ready to click go live and then he turns up and the guy with the whippersnippers just <laughs> ahead of us and uh, I said to Ilka, no, we've got to wait. We've got to wait. <laughs> no, no. We just do it because that's what life is like. Yeah. It's messy and it's chaotic sometimes. <laughs> and that is what we want to actually talk to you about. Um, that... We, we talk about this word conscious parenting or awakened parenting and people think, oh, you know, those people must have their life together or they really must have everything worked out. And I would say it's almost the complete opposite, it, especially when you first come to start to wake up to some of your childhood conditioning, all of those kinds of things. It can be actually quite... Um, confronting very confronting challenging look look messy look like uh, oh like the family breakfast that you had recently yes definitely Perfect and family. I've, we've been living this uh, lifestyle for a very long time um, but we go out to breakfast it was my birthday actually and we were just trying to decide have a bit of a schedule for washing the dishes in the house because all the kids are home and it was like everybody has their opinion everyone's loud people are turning around well, I mean it wasn't too bad but we, we, it doesn't look calm and peaceful like people probably think it might um, so we're, we're, we're just we're, there's negotiation there's all sorts of things that probably don't happen where um, things are more under control no, 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 that's that's <laughs> it and we tend to have control when they're younger perhaps but then as they get older and seek autonomy and independence and finding out who they really are, well, then the challenges come. But our point is, because, well, that's what I did. I certainly had a great deal of control when they were younger and um, the poop hit the fan when, um, when they became teenagers. And uh, we had a very controlled environment around emotions. And that's what we're saying, that when you, when you first step into this kind of living, um, it can be really challenging in the beginning when you, um, like for me, it was facing my emotions, expressing my emotions and not judging my emotions. It's very challenging when you learn All this new way of living. All emotions are okay. <laughs> All emotions are okay. That's crazy. Hi, Susan. Yeah, hi. And, uh, yeah, mowing guy, is, it is a bit annoying, isn't it? But this is exactly what, um, it's just such an amazing metaphor, like the mower guy in the background. It really is, because this is what conscious parenting is actually like. It's like always looking at yourself, always, um, you know, asking questions a lot about your child's behaviour and why is this affecting me so much? Like asking yourself about your triggers. Um, it's a, it is a constant kind of mess of um, working things out and letting things go. I mean, I use my tapping process a lot, so I'm doing that every day as well to help me with my emotions. <laughs> I've, I've found that the uh, the opposite, like, like dealing with the emotions, my emotions can be very challenging for me. However, I've also lived life on the other side as, um, you know, trying to keep at a very flat level and, uh, Man, that's boring and grey and that can only last for so long. Yeah, yeah, well, you, like people do do it until they, they die though. It, it is possible to actually not start to wake up. It is possible to get to 70 or 80 years of age and really be just still on the, on the treadmill of life. I'm um, just doing your normal stuff and perhaps have really kind of flatlined as far as your emotions go. Um, but the conscious life does not look perfect <laughs> by any way, shape or form of the imagination, um, I think, but it looks alive. I, I oh, think that's, yes. that's uh, something it really does look like. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and real, and sometimes you don't want to face it. Sometimes I want to oh, shut my don't... eyes and not face it. <laughs> Yeah, that, and that's that's something that you're going through on a, a basis. So I think once the daily basis, but once you actually choose, one of the things about choosing this kind of lifestyle as well is that there's kind of no going back. Once you start to be awake to some of your childhood conditioning, where yeah. things are coming from, um, you, you start to see the world very differently and you start to see that other people have their own conditioning too. And, um, and, and the judgment comes out of things. It, it really starts to be just a matter of working on yourself all the time. Oh, <laughs> all the time, yeah. Letting, In the mess and chaos of it all. Letting go of judgment is a big one and not going to judgment of others, differing values, differing behaviours to And mind. even your children's differing oh, yeah. values and yeah. behaviours because they definitely will have them. Yes, and <laughs> allowing them to have those different Yeah, yeah. Values and then working and behaviors. on stuff that comes up for you when they do. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. So we hope we've busted a bit of a myth about what <laughs> conscious parenting looks like, what awakened parenting looks like. If any of you out there think that it's this, you know, amazing mm. life where everyone just peace, is, love, yeah, joy, joy, happiness and all the time. And oh yes, we <laughs> could go. I've sometimes wondered if I could be a monk and go and sit in a cave and be alone. And I think I could do it for a substantial amount of time, but wouldn't be facing my emotions. You'd just be avoiding. I'm very good at avoiding. Yeah, me too, definitely, definitely. Yeah. But once you um, start to um, be able to realise when you are avoiding, then um, you can't you can't stop doing that. Can't, so. yeah. Yeah, it's difficult to go back. Yeah. So thank you very much for joining us, even with the mowers in the background <laughs> and whatnot. Hope, hope it didn't remind you too much of uh, what it's like to be a parent. Yes. Here, here and, he comes again. Yeah, and thank you for pushing me on to just click go live rather than wait for perfect. Yeah. Not going to be perfect, guys. No, no. It's not going to happen. We'll see you next Wednesday morning. Have an amazing day and inspire, inspire someone, someone today. today. See ya.